town manager's report. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, um, the town continues to have openings on town boards, committees, and commissions. Uh, for those of you who would be interested in serving in an official position with the town, uh, please consult the town's website and forward your request in writing to the Board of Selectmen so that uh, they can be advised of your interest and can uh, work towards perhaps appointing you to a, to a desired committee or commission. <laughs> The second workshop uh, pertaining to the preparation for climate change for the Seabrook Hampton Estuary will be held on August 13, 2014, from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at St. James Lodge, Tide Mill Road, Hampton. The first one was extremely interesting. Uh, and I, I have to tell you that the three towns worked well together. Uh, we had a lot of people from Hampton there, including members of this board. And uh, I think the, the evening's activities uh, uh, although they were short, they were only an hour and a half, uh, went, or two and a half hours, excuse me, they went very, very well, and I think it sets the base for continuing dialogue and discussion to get this in some format where I think everybody can understand what's really being talked about, what really needs to be done when the time arises to do it. I have forwarded to the board materials dealing with the request of the trustees of trust funds for your... Uh, uh, your opinion or edit concerning a warrant article for House Bill 297 for the 2015 annual town meeting. And I would suggest the board read those, to digest them, and please let me know as to whether or not you want the warrant article drafted. I'll be happy to do it if you wish to have it drafted. Okay. The State Department of Environmental Services has notified us that we have been dropped from further consideration on an application for funding. Uh, dealing with the replacement of the culverts on uh, under High Street at the grist mill. Mm -hmm. This is the second one we've been we've been uh, replaced on and, 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 and not been allowed to participate in. Um, I gave you all a letter which the chairman discussed a moment ago that we're going to place on the website and I, I did have an, an hour and a half meeting today with the Department of Public Works on that letter mm -hmm. and the requirements behind it and I'm concerned uh, that because we had a, a group of people come in mm -hmm. and address what they conceived to be a problem, and, and very well may, may, may be from their perspective that the state has uh, dropped any further consideration of assisting us uh, in, in anything dealing with the dam until we physically remove it. Mm. So, but we are continually monitoring things up there. I will tell you that I, when I talked to Public Works this morning, um, I asked them pointedly about whether or not the weepage in the dam that's been identified by the, the state uh, is still ongoing, and the answer was no. Since we dropped the dam to the 97.3 feet elevation uh, for the water level, uh, the seepage has stopped. So uh, there's no further danger to seepage through the, through the walls of the dam at this point, which I think is very good. We just need to continue to work on uh, the completion of the things that are on the state's checklist, and Public Works has notified me as soon as they get rid of the massive uh, poison ivy inf infection up there on the, uh, the north side of the dam, that they'll be up there finishing that work and getting that done, and they'll have the state approve it as soon as it's finished. We're probably going to take care of the poison ivy tomorrow, and they'll be working within the next week or two to get the remainder of the dam done. Comcast has not completed the installation of cabling for the second channel for the schools, uh, use of our cable system. Inquiries have been made, and we did receive a response and letter today from uh, Comcast from uh, through Kate Miller, who has represented us in this matter, and they're telling us that uh, the cabling will be con be completed by September 1st, and uh, the fire station will be uh, system will be operational by mid-September. So they expect to have that online and actually performing work by mid-September. So I think that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a big benefit to us, and I'm sure it will, will help the school immeasurably. Mr. Chairman, I have, um, just for the board's edification and, and, and hopefully uh, response, uh, in the past it's been the position of the Board of Selectmen that when we have people from human service agencies coming in and requesting funds, mm -hmm. that they be level to the previous year. Mm -hmm. uh, and for those that are not uh, requesting level funding, that they're requested to submit a second, a, a petition warrant article uh, because the board would not put the, f the funds into the uh, Human Service Agency funding request. I have received two such requests 
which exceed the appropriation limits from the previous years, and I just want to know if that particular position is the same for the board as it has been in the past. So I know whether or not to send the letters out. And uh, shall we uh, make a motion to keep that level funding? I'm looking for a motion or a response, if we can do that right now. Or shall we bring this up at the next meeting? Level funding for social services agency for next year. Unless, unless they come forward, is that what it was? Well, they, the previous boards have said they need to come forward with a petition or an article if they're going to increase their spending or request to increase their spending. I, I don't mind it being in there as, as level funded, and if they want to come in for any increase, I don't want to see the chance, you know, that leaves them the opportunity to, you know, but if, if you come in for requesting a whole new line of, item on it, they get a chance of losing everything. I mean, that's well, no, they're in one case they're asking for a hundred percent rate increase, uh, mm -hmm. in another case, they're only asking for a two hundred and thirty dollar rate increase. So, I mean, I it, it doesn't bother, I just need to know how to write the letter. If you want me to write the letter, do you want us to have them petition for the entire amount of the article or just for the increase? I would say for the increase, that's my increase, sir. What do you recommend, Fred? The increase would be better because that way they would not lose their at least their base fund. Okay, I agree. I, I agree. When Human Services started requesting money back in the 80s, mm -hmm. we determined as a budget committee that they should petition once and if the public approved that particular agency, then they would be fed into Health and Human Services in the budget. But of course, some enterprising individual under the prior manager uh, decided to yank that out so the budget didn't look so big. Uh, I think it, it's an imposition on the public to have them continually having to deal with a huge number of warrant articles, and in this case, to Health and Human Services. I think it's silly. I think we should put their request, if they're giving us some material to back it, adjust the request on the line that goes to the Budget Committee, because the Budget Committee is going to be dealing with all this, and let the Budget Committee figure out what they want to do. The Health and Human Services segment is minuscule compared to the entire town budget. So if they want an extra whatever, and you feel reasonable that they justified it, and they have the public hearing to come to, if make the adjustments on the lines. I don't want to see any more petition warrant articles than we have to have. I think a I, I agree with Mary Louise, a warrant article is problematic. I uh, am, am starting to uh, receive initial revenue estimates, uh, and uh, it's uh, um, it's problematic and challenging for all the budget requests we hear. Uh, I think if anyone came in here and said they wanted a 100% increase in their line, um, they would, uh, we would take a look at it. I agree that the Warren article uh, proliferation is encumbersome and difficult for the voter. And so uh, why don't we respond to Fred offline via email, and then you can announce what our plan of action going forward, sir. Very good. Thank you for raising the issue. Thank you. Yes, sir. And questions for the town manager on his report. And seeing none. Oh, I got a question. Oh, okay. Thank uh, you, sir. Can we um, come up with an answer for our gentleman in the, that's waiting about the church? In the past, oh. where we've had situations of this nature, um, and there are special activities down there, I called the chief and asked him if he could spare a patrol officer to go down and take care of the problem. And that would be my intention is to call him. Uh, I don't really want to build a church for 100% for a 100-year anniversary. Uh, as I keep on saying, you know, it's time. there is a time when you have to give back to the church because they've been given to us for 100 years. So uh, I, it's, it's a matter of sending a patrol car down there and doing what needs to be done. Public Works can provide the necessary barricades or whatever for safe crossing. There are no crosswalks there, and I know that's really the problem. Okay. Is that satisfactory for you, sir? And you expect a little manna from heaven as a result of this charitable interview? Yeah, Fred, Fred's just <laughs> patting know. his, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I figure that uh, for as many years as I've been involved in municipal government, probably when I leave this earth, I'll be warm. 
<laughs> Select and bridle. God, two, two quick things, Fred. Sir. What, what do we do if uh, Comcast doesn't have that ready by September 1st? Ah, um, summer execution. Uh, ah. No blindfolds. <laughs> okay. Um, we have been we've been through this uh, been a very number patient. of times. We send them to Iraq. It's it's getting to be a real inconvenience, uh, and I know we're we're not talking to the people who are doing the work. It is from Comcast. We're talking to a, yeah. an ex a regional executive, correct, uh, who is banging on somebody else's door, who is banging on someone else's door, uh, but he's been pretty reliable, and I'm I'm hoping that his. Um, his forecast is correct. Otherwise, okay. we're going to have to have council write some letters that we don't want to write. Okay. Because the school, school board gets pretty wild, and the, you know. And the, the second thing is, uh, it, it, is there a way to be able to use the uh, message board signs? We have that free concert on Saturday. Uh, it would be nice that the town people know that there is a free concert. Uh, we've tried to get it out as best we can in the public, but is there any way we could have a couple of the signs put up and just uh, announcing free if, concerts. If they're available, I, I believe they're all down the beach at the moment uh, with the public service announcements. One of the things I t did talk to the chief about was that we, we actually need to buy some more signs because we have such a large calling on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many different activities and things that are going on within the community uh, that we need some more. Yeah. So that we can talk to the chief. see if, it, if there is one available, at yeah. least one, just to let people know in town, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a great event. It's a great free event for the for the, all the citizens. Give me the particulars of what you want on it. I'll see if I can get it done. Okay, I can do that. Make sure your grammar is correct. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Waddell. Questions for the town manager. Thank you, Thank you. Roman.